For a second day in a row, some students at a South Florida school showing their support for their principal, who has been taught a tough lesson. Vanessa Medina is live in Coconut Creek outside Monarch High. Vanessa. So students here again walking out today. They say while the state wants to talk about laws, they're more interested on the human life that's being affected. Day two of protests at Monarch High School in Coconut Creek. I think it's pretty like messed up that like our, our principal is just trying to do a right thing. Students walking out supporting their principal, two senior staff members and two coaches, all who have been reassigned after the district learned a transgender student born male was allowed to play on the girls volleyball team. I was on a team. I played with her and I think that like everyone who thinks they like have this opinion on her and but don't even know her, have no idea who she is, like what she like. She was the sweetest person like anyone has ever like met. Jordan is the captain of the volleyball team and her concern is for the student affected. I think this has completely ruined her life. Like she like, yeah, it's complete like she's not coming back. A Florida law passed in 2021 prohibits transgender students from playing on girls teams. The superintendent says he received a call and immediately informed the state. I received a call from a constituent uh, that uh, that there could be some uh, uh, factors that were not appropriate for uh, girls volleyball. When this transgender student was in middle school, she and her family challenged the law. The lawsuit described her as exhibiting behavior as a girl as early as three years old, and that she clearly saw herself as a girl in the years after that. While the state requires student athletes to identify sex assigned at birth, the lawsuit says she received an amended birth certificate that identifies her as a girl. Still, a federal judge ruled. We acknowledge the statute creates a difficult and perhaps unfair situation for the student who identifies as a girl in all respects and who may be prohibited from playing on the teams of her choice. And that law gives her the option to play on either boys or co-ed or mixed teams. Students say the whole school is shaken up over this. This girl's life's being affected. It's opening a lot to bullying her. I just don't think that this is really fair to a lot of people, to her herself, her family, and this is affecting a lot of like our school, like our principal's gone, like a lot of our admins gone. It's really affecting us. So the captain of the volleyball team and the other students that know her that we spoke with say that the student in question here is very small in stature. Actually, they say quite petite. So the idea that she put the team at some sort of advantage, they say, is just false. This as the district continues to investigate. Reporting here.